Hello everyone and to all Filipinos, mabuhay! This is Serena Salbuchong and welcome to my channel. Well, for today's video, I will be talking about the average salaries for a teaching job in China in 2022. The high salary in China is what actually attracts teachers not just from the Philippines but also from all over the world. These competitive salaries have actually risen nowadays due to the impacts of the pandemic. The average salary in China is actually based primarily with the different teaching job opportunities that are available to you throughout China. You may want to know this aspect better by doing your own research. Well, if you really want to know the exact averages for your preferred location, you can choose in the south of China, which is warm, you want to go in the middle, or you'd like to experience the winter, then you go to the northern part. Here are some important factors for your salary in China. First, your experience in teaching abroad. If you had an experience working in Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, or any other parts of the world, maybe you are an ESL teacher or a subject teacher in math and sciences, then that is your edge. Second, your educational qualification. If you have a bachelor's degree in education, that is so terrific. Well, if not, don't lose hope because if you have TESOL, SALTA, or TEFL certification, that will be a ticket for you to still have a work in China. Third is here is the type of teaching job and location. Well, if you like kids, you can work in the kindergarten. If you want to work with primary, middle school, and uh, high school, and even university, these are the types of job that you can choose from and will determine your salary. And lastly, the location that you prefer. The demand for foreign teachers has risen significantly in 2022. Thousands of foreign teachers went back to their home country at the start of the pandemic. And guess what? Most of them never came back. As China is slowly reopening to the world, many schools and teaching institutions are in shortage of ESL and subject teachers. Well, more demand, less supply, in simple terms. As an aftermath of this pandemic, the salaries for teaching here in China have gone to the roof this year. They have even extended their benefits, not just to the teachers or employees, but also to their families, plus some enticing bonuses like gadgets and other great stuff that you can enjoy. So, if you are thinking in getting a teaching job here in China, there is no better time than now. Make that big decision. Well, let's go now to the overview of your possible teaching salary in China in 2022. Most foreign teachers in China would earn between 40,000 RMB to 21,000 RMB. That is roughly 2,500 to 3,400 US dollars. So in the Philippine peso value, that's actually 116,000 pesos to 174,000 pesos. That's the value at the time this video is created. The most qualified teachers will enjoy high salary. Well, approximately 22,000 to 32,000 renminbi or Chinese yuan. In US dollars, that's 3,500 to 5,000 US dollars. That's a whooping 182,000 to 265,000 pesos a month. That's too much, you know. Well, the upper end will be enjoyed by the most qualified teachers in the first year series. Well, I'll, get, I'll try to talk about more about that in the video. Remember, there are two important factors that will dictate your salary. First, the city where you're living in, and second, the cost of living. Well, the most expensive cities offer the highest salary. And these cities are actually split into tiers. Remember, you have to learn what cities are actually in tier 1, 2, and 3. And I'll give you the list next. And this is the breakdown of those tiers. These are the tier 1 cities in China. We have Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. These cities are the most developed and they have the advanced infrastructures. 
Well, you can expect that people here have high purchasing power. All the cities are actually humongous and they have high and great political and cultural influence throughout the mainland China. Now we will go with the tier 2 cities. We have Xiamen, Fuzhou, Wuxi, Kunming, Harbin, Jinan, Changchun, Wenzhou, Shijiazhuang, and Nanning. Last but not the least, we will go with the tier 3 cities. Okay, these are the cities of Yangzhou, Guilin, Sanya, Shantou, Nanchang, Huzhou, Huhut, and Jili. And the list goes on. So, if you are applying for a teaching job and got some offers, you must always consider the location and the cost of living because your net income will be greatly affected with this. Considering these two factors will greatly help you calculate your savings each month and the money you can send back home. Well, that's what we do, you know, Filipinos. This aspect can make a difference in choosing your career path in landing the best teaching position that truly suits you. And now we are done with our topic about the average salary in teaching position in China for 2022. If this video helped you in some ways, please like, share to your friends and family, and maybe consider subscribing. If you have any questions or anything that you'd like to know more about in China, working in China, living in China, or anything China related, I'll be happy to read your comments and maybe some contents that you would like me to make a video about. Thank you so much for your precious time. God bless you and more power. Stay Jen. Bye bye.